सो हे एवरी वन आई एम हर्षल जैन योर मेंटोर एट गीक्स फॉर गीक्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वील एक्सप्लोर द पावरफुल केपेबिलिटीज ऑफ चार्ज जी पी टी एंड हाउ इट कैन बी अ गेम चेंजर फॉर रियक्ट चेस सो ज्वाइन मी एज वी डेल इन टू द वेज चार्ट जी पी टी कैन बी अवेलेबल एस इट इन योर रियक्ट चेस जर्नी लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो द फर्स्ट फ्रॉम विच आई वुड रियली लाइक टू गिव टू चार्ट जी पी टी इज हाउ कैन आई लर्न रियक्ट जेस हुक्स using chat gpt explain use effect and use state hooks which are really common hooks in react js so if i ask this prompt you would see that chat gpt would give me a very good suggestion here so first of all it says that how can i learn hooks react hooks so you can see that certainly react hooks introduced in react version so it mentioned the specific version and they are functions that let you use your state and other react features without writing a class so we actually have different different states of uh, like classes in react js what you really do is it's like for example right now when you load a website there is no user data user data comes from some backend so till then you're just going to define a temporary variable okay you can just name it as state or you can name it anything else okay and when data comes you're going to put that data into this variable without reloading the website without doing anything data would automatically come here and data would be automatically shown in your website so this basically acts as a state it's like state is going to change initially there is no data it's null okay the value of this initial state is initially going to be null later on there would be some user data or some value some number some string whatever you want so it's like states actually help you for a lot of thing similarly we have different different hooks here okay so chat gpt has explained some of the hooks here you can see use state and use uh, effect hook and here you can see that clearly chat gpt has explained the usage of use state hook you can ask what all the hooks if i ask you can you tell me all react hooks okay so it's going to explain you all react js hooks you can see these are all the react js hooks in short okay now you can ask individually each and suppose for example if you want to know uh, if i give you example of use state only okay so you can see that explain i'm going to ask it just like that up suppose i'm a very dumb person okay so i'm simply going to ask that explain use state to a 5 year old child okay so that's what i really do sometimes whenever i get confused so this is the easiest language which i usually get to a 5 year old so you can just ask it and then it's going to give you a very good example you can see all right imagine you have a magical box called you state uh, this box can hold one thing at a time let's say you have a toy car you put the toy car inside the box now whenever you know you want to know what's inside the box or change what's inside the box you can use use state okay that's the example which i gave you initially the value is null you want to change the value you change it to user data or some value some other value right so that's the purpose and you can see chat gpt does it very easily for us similarly if you want to ask for use effect okay if you want to ask for use effects so what you can do is explain use effect to a 5 year old okay and i'm just going to say use effect to a 5 year old right so you can see that again it's going to give you a very good example use effect is like uh, when you want to do something when you uh, when you when you visit home page you want to check user is logged in or not that means you want to call a function as soon as the website loads so you're going to pass that function inside use effect okay so yeah you can see that here they have explained the source code also so you can use this source code into your uh, react js application and it's going to help a lot okay so it's very easy you can just create a component and you can just use the react js component here okay now guys let's talk about the second one the second prompt which i would like to give to chat gpt is to generate some kind of page for example create sign up page in react js with the help of chat gpt and it must have fields like name email password age gender etc so if i give this second prompt you would see that it's going to give me a proper sign up page you can see exactly when you are going to create a sign up page it's exactly going to look like this let me just show you uh, by pasting this in a, a proper react js application if i just copy this and now guys i'm going to go to a demo project and i created this sample project using create react app you can use the same in next js which is modified version of react js so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just write it here just paste that here okay or else what i'm going to do is uh, instead of that i'll just create a component so i'll just create one component named as sigenup.js and i'll just paste that component here and i can use this as a page anywhere okay as as a component or as a page anywhere for now i'm just going to paste that in the same react js page okay for now i'm just going to paste it here so i'm just going to write here sign up 
okay although you can perform routing which we're gonna see later on so you can see that now i've simply added this and this is the exact code which which doesn't contain any error let me just show you how it looks so i'm just gonna type npm start to start this application and now guys you can see automatically i'm taken to localhost 3000 and you can see this is the sign up page which we get here okay so yeah it gave me a lot of things like you can see select option a lot of things are actually available here you can see if i type the password it's automatically type password you can see that dot 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 is visible here okay suppose if you want to style this if you want to style this so what you can do is i can just say that write uh good css for this sign up page okay so automatically chat gpt would uh, take the reference from above and automatically you can see that i'm getting the css for this sign up page okay so what i can do is i can just paste the css wherever i want for now i'm just going to paste it directly in index so you can see that what would happen you can see that now i got some css although you can make it much more better uh, by your choice but you can see that yeah it really works okay it really works so you can just test it you can play around if you want to fix this button you can ask chat gpt to fix this button fix the css a lot of things can be done right so now guys let's discuss the third prompt so guys as developers we usually forget how to use icons and font families so uh, the exact method is a little bit longer sometimes or it's sometimes different in different different frameworks or libraries so to do these kind of things we can give some prompts to chat gpt like i want to use icons in react.js what should i use so if i hit this prompt you can see that chat gpt has actually mentioned some kind of packages which i can use you can see first of all if you want to use icons you can use react icons or you can use font awesome or these are two really popular ones so suppose if you want to use mui also this is also a very popular one so what you can do is if you want to use react icon you can just search about react icons here okay and you can see that if i take you here you can see there are a lot of icons suppose if i go inside ant design you can see if you want to uh, import any icon you can see if i import this icon so i have to import it from react icon ci let me just show you first of all you need to just install it just copy this and you can just install it as the instructions okay you can see now install the react icons now after that suppose i want to use this specific one okay i want to use um this android icon okay suppose android icon so i would just go here and you can see that now i can actually get some colors also if you want some colors you can see that there are some colors also if you want uh but yeah by default you will get this one okay so i'll just copy this okay and i'm simply going to paste it to wherever i want suppose in this component i'm going to paste this icon and after that i'm just going to copy the component of the icon and i'm going to paste it wherever i like for example i want to just show it after the sign up text okay so you can see that first of all there is a problem here because right now it's not installed so let's wait for a few seconds till then uh, it's gonna be installed okay so now you can see that the installation is done and the error is gone let's check so guys you can see that i got the icon now you can style it as per your demand you can just give it a color also if you want okay so now guys after that if you want to look some more properties you can just search how can the style the react icons and like that so you'd easily get a lot of things okay so now let's talk about the next prompt so guys the fourth prompt is totally based on updates it's like we have routing in react js sometimes like if you talk about the previous versions of react just the routing was different but nowadays it's different so we can actually ask these kind of prompts how to use routing in react chase what is routing but uh, keep one thing in mind these updates are totally independent it's like chat gpt might not be aware of some updates so you must always cross check with the official website of react chase that's always great so if i paste this prompt you can see that it's explaining about routing although i would suggest that if you are looking for some kind of things in the react just or anything which is totally based on react versions so what you can do is you can search for this individually also so that you can verify chat gpt is telling the truth or not because sometimes there is some conflict between the versions chat gpt you know is always not for the uh, not does not have the latest updates so it's like sometimes there might be some uh, it might be chat gpt might be telling you about the older versions okay so just cross check everything if things are not working first for at first what you can do is you can just install things directly okay but if things don't work so you have to cross check the versions properly because chat gpt might sometimes 
tell you the older versions for that you can use other ai tools also like bard also bard is also a very great ai tool which would give you a lot of latest things but yeah for better prompts i think chat gpt is also giving a better response for easier prompts okay so i'm just going to install this react router dom for now you can see just i just installed react router dom it would take a few seconds and after installing what you can do what you can do is you can see that itself it's mentioned that in app.js what you can do is you can just open up your component so you can see that if i just copy this and what i'll do is i'll just go to app.js okay and inside this if i just paste it you can see that now i have to just create the home router different different routes so i'm just gonna go here and let's create the component for home okay so i'm just gonna create home component similarly i'm gonna create this uh, sign up okay i g n u p okay sign up and let's say that the route name is sign up and you can see that right now i just created these two for now okay you can create others also so i'll just remove the extra ones okay so you can see that now it's easily done and let's check what's the problem here you can see that first of all it's giving us a problem that is they are not installed okay let's wait for a few seconds till then it's gonna be installed so guys as i was telling you you can see that here we are getting a direct error this is actually because of react router dom versions so again you just need to visit the official website of react router dom okay you can just type this and it would take you to the react router website and since we are using the latest version of react here so you can see that this is the latest code which you can use okay and then after that i'm just gonna make this as normal so i'm just gonna remove all the previous things which we pasted here okay now what we're gonna do is we are simply going to go to our um, index.js page and we can simply do one thing we'll just go here and we'll just copy everything and then we'll just come here and what it's saying is you can see that into which file you need to just do this so you can see that in uh, like in different different pages you can actually handle this but i'm simply going to paste this into my root page okay that's basically this page okay let's try this so you can see that now what actually happens is if you are typing slash it's gonna show some con component instead of this you can show the app page instead of this you can show some other sign up page or component okay so you can see that these are different different routes now what we're gonna do is we are simply going to test it so you can see that for home you can see you are getting this if i type about okay if i write about so you can see you are getting the about page okay so sometimes chat gpt might be wrong but the explanation is fine for this you can see explanation is fine but yeah you have to check always double check things if you are using some things like routing or anything in next js or in react js which might update in future so please double check things if you are facing an issue okay and the fifth prompt which is the headache for every developer is their code contains some error and i want someone to fix my code okay i can't fix my code i want someone to fix my code so i would ask chat gbd hey chat gbd this is my code please fix the errors so for example you can see that suppose this was the sign up page and i introduced some error here okay you can see that i introduced some error some random error okay so now if i ask chat gpt to fix this let's try if chat gpt can fix this or not so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up a fresh chat so that everything is clear and then i'm going to ask fix my code and i'll just paste this code and now chat gpt would just fix this code you can see that whatever are the necessary fixes you can see that all the necessary fixes would be here okay so uh, in our code what we did was we simply change the email field so you can see that it has just fixed the email field and also it would tell you that what was the problem okay so yeah it's very beneficial and just a very basic example you're going to use this for a lot of cases you can mention the error message also so if you're getting some error message you'll show that error message also for example you can just uh, remove things like that so you can do whatever what things you want you can fix things so that's it for today guys i hope you understood this video and i hope you would be using chat gpt for own better purpose and you would be enhancing your skills and saving a lot of time with these ai tools remember using ai is not a crime but use the ai wisely so that it benefits you okay it saves your time but it must enhance your skill it's like if you are just a beginner stay away from it you don't try to fix your things with the help of chat gpt you can learn things from chat gpt like you can learn the concepts but don't try to fix your code with the help of chat gpt please fix fix it on your own and one more thing guys if you like these kind of topics 
so we are gonna bring some more videos on these kind of topics you can mention the topics below and don't forget to like share and subscribe so that you get the latest videos on time so that's it for today i will see you in the next one till this you have a good day bye bye